Okay, now getting Diego on that side of Enzo because I've just put his food on the other side and now he can't get past because Enzo is eating right in the way and Enzo's not going to let him pass. So now I have to let's see. Oh, he got it. <laughs> so you will be walking that way now. Oh, there's another cat that I would like to show you guys. This cat just moved into my house and <laughs> he's become so welcome here is I can actually go there and touch him and he won't even go away. Let me show you. Hello, Bucket. <laughs> so this cat just, let me just switch on the light here. Just moved in and he was completely wild and look at that. He's as tame as you can get. And I know that he's the dad of some of the cats that I've seen around here. So, <laughs> And Diego is just waiting so I can walk with him to his food. <laughs> Diego, come kijk eens op. Let me go show him. He's in that play mood now. He just wants me to chase him. And there he's just afraid. <laughs> come on, Diego. Come on, here come Enzo. Is Enzo coming? If Enzo goes in there first, Enzo's gonna eat it. <laughs> Enzo. <laughs> These two. Diego had just had some meat on that side. I threw it over when I carried his bucket through. Enzo. Dogs are also being fed right now. They're having their dinner. <laughs> and the monkeys will be picked up soon, so everybody's going to be coming through pretty soon to come and pick up their monkeys. There's Buddy. He's usually the last one to go at night. Let's see who's left here. There's Arnie. Arnie. <laughs> That's a sea. Looking at the plane. Who else is here? I think some of the others have already been picked up. Yes, they've all been picked up already. It's Friday. This bush is smelling so nice. A sweet, sweet smell. It usually, on my birthday, that's when these uh, little, almost like roses, comes out. And this year it's like a month and a half early so it shows we're gonna have a good summer <laughs> and these two boys <laughs> they're never the same they can change their personality at any time now they're eating together it's <laughs> okay Enzo is not letting him buy the bucket yet. Diego! And he's not allowed to eat. <laughs> no, but he's had some on the other side already. So, and there's Enzo done. Now he'll let Diego go and have dinner as well. <laughs> Diego! Yeah, that's one thing about these tigers. You won't be able to set them free anywhere. They will just sit there and wait for their food. And they will not know why 
is the food not available? They are totally spoiled is actually the right word. So people do ask, why don't you set them free? Where would you set them free? Where would you take them? And when you take them there, what will they do? It's something that is just not possible. A tiger that's been, I've heard a rumor that if you've picked it up, they immediately lose that touch with being a tiger. Then they basically not wild anymore. He's looking at the aeroplane. Diego. So there's no way of setting a tiger free again. And if you do, you'll be doing them something something terrible to them. It's like dropping off a two-year-old child in the desert. They will not know what to do. They will just probably starve but luckily that ain't happening with these two they will stay here with me and have a good life all right thanks for watching i'll try and make as many videos as possible let me just give him a good little rub there <laughs> Let's just see what the stripes look like underneath, if I open it up a bit. Yeah, the skin is dark at on that spot right there. And over here, it's light. So that color is coming from the skin. They are light and dark. And the hair is quite soft. Diego's hair is a little bit longer than Enzo's. Enzo's hair is quite short. I remember when he used to sleep next to me on the bed. Even the mosquitoes can get him through this fur. His hair is very sh much shorter than Diego's. Is. And there they're going to play. Let me follow them. Diego. Now they're going to be running around for quite a while. <laughs> Let's go to that side in Zavis. <laughs> Enzo is eating again. <laughs> Enzo key. As he walks by he's saying sorry for walking by that's what that chuff means they can use it as saying sorry or just to greet I'll make a video on the shuffing and how to do it it takes a bit of practice but it's possible to learn how to do it and if you ever find a tiger anywhere at a zoo or whatever you will be able to greet him and you will see their reaction. They've got their own language. Also what I've been telling people is be careful what you think about when you're standing by a tiger. Because it's almost like they can read your mind. They connect with you on a different level. I don't know if you've heard that little click. Every time I walk past here and I touch this fence, it gives me a little electrical shock. From the static of the synthetic lawn on this side so i guess you'll be hearing that quite a lot ah there it's going ah. He's ready to play now. <laughs> this little one is always coming here when I'm with the tires. 
and this one as well. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to be going now. I'll be making another video soon and just want to say something about Hurricane Irma. I hope everybody is safe in its path and recovery is as easy as possible. Thanks, have a good night.